Hello everyone. My name is Terry Maguire and I'm passionate about mathematics education. And one of the things I often wonder about is how we can actually drill oil from the deepest oceans and we can send men to the moon, but we still haven't managed to solve the maths education problem. What do you think about when you think about mathematics? Most people remember their school days, often learning procedures and concepts which they practiced repeatedly. For many of us, the maths we learned were abstract and often we did not see what the mathematics we learned had to do with real life. There were people that were good at maths and people who were not. It was okay not to be good at maths. You were just made that way. But often these feelings about mathematics are passed from parents to child across generations and then lead to restricted choices in terms of education and employment. Developing maths eyes challenges the concept of not being a maths person. It supports the view that we are all maths people. Look for example of what happens when we cross the road in the absence of a pedestrian light to guide us. If a car is coming slowly, we probably walk across slowly. If the car is coming a bit faster, well then we walk a bit faster. If the car is coming quickly, but the bus we want is almost at the bus stop, we might risk sprinting across the road, both to avoid the car and to get the bus. Somehow we manage to work out how fast we need to go to get across the road. In the same way, if we drive, we seemingly, without thinking, slow and stop the car with ease. And most of us don't end up having many accidents. Somehow we do real world mathematics, but this mathematics is invisible to us. Research has shown that adults can see the mathematics that they do in their everyday life. If it's pointed out to them, they say, that's not mathematics, that's common sense. Developing maths eyes helps us to see the mathematics that surround us and that we use. It builds confidence and helps us to reconsider how we think about mathematics and how we see mathematics as having real use. Everyone has maths eyes. They just need to be opened. Galileo, the father of science, a long time ago said, the great book of nature lies ever open before our eyes, but we cannot read it unless we have first learned the language and the characters in which it is written. It is written in the language of mathematics and its characters are triangles, circles and other geometric figures without which it is humanely impossible to understand a single word. Galileo clearly had maths eyes. Each day we respond to maths containing situations in our lives and the way we respond to these situations is determined not just by the mathematics we know but also by our background, our culture, our attitudes and beliefs, our life experience and our own context. This connectedness and integration of mathematics and our real world is called numeracy. Numeracy is more than mathematics because it's us using our mathematics, our background, our life experience, our culture, our context, to respond to maths containing situations that we encounter every day. How do you develop maths eyes? Well, developing your maths eyes is easy. You just need to learn to look at the familiar things that surround you every day through a different lens. Familiar things like shop windows, doors, furniture, buildings, bridges, parks. Most of us, when we first develop our maths eyes, Focus on using the maths eyes lens of quantity and number. We see the prices in the shop. We see car registration numbers, bus numbers. We see timetables. But what happens if we change that lens? If we use a different maths lens? Perhaps look at the lens of shape. If you look at road signs through a shape lens, then you'll notice that road signs have many different shapes. Stop signs are all one shape. Speed signs are all another shape. Look at the bridges, you know. How many of them are shaped like an arch? We could also look 
through a problem-solving lens. How would I work out how fast the river is flowing? We could look through a pattern lens. We could look at the fence and railings and we'll see the pattern that actually makes them attractive. Developing mat size also helps you to make more informed decisions. Sometimes when we go into the supermarket, we see a big display that promotes a product as being good value. Most of us believe that it is. But when you look with your mat size, what you see doesn't always support our initial interpretation. Sometimes advertisements try and get us to see a particular view that promotes what is being sold in the best possible light. Having Matt's eyes enables you to make informed decisions about what you want to buy. Everyone's Matt's eyes develop as they gain life experience and learn more mathematics. A great way to improve your Matt's eyes is to work with a group to develop a Matt's trail around your local area that can become a resource for your community. Maths trails provide wonderful opportunities to develop problem solving skills and number sense. A good maths trail does not pose school maths problems outdoors. Rather, it encourages discussion, development of strategies for solving from problems and helps people to realise that there are many strategies that can be used to get a right answer, but also that there are many right answers. With maths eyes, you can see all kinds of things. So developing math size gives you new ways of looking at and considering familiar things. It gives us new insights into our daily life, leisure and our work. It gives us new approaches to teaching and learning, new approaches for integrating numeracy into everything we do, and new opportunities for linking schools and community. Math size builds confidence in our own mathematics. It encourages us to see the usefulness of mathematics and provides us with the opportunity for a new inheritance for future generations. Have You Got Maths Eyes is already a very successful initiative that is being used in a number of countries all over the world. It's being used by people of all ages, young children, teenagers, by teachers, by parents, by adult learners. If you would like to learn more about Maths Eyes, Visit our website, www.haveyougotmathsize.com. The website has a range of resources that are ready to use, including a guide to developing maths eyes, sample maths trails, exhibitions, guidance on free software you can use to explore the mathematics of familiar things using technology. It also includes details of maths eyes initiatives and competitions we have run. All are under a Creative Commons license for you to use. The Matt's Eyes team can be contacted at mattseyes at ul.ie or why not join us on Facebook or on Twitter. Marshall Prowse said, the real voyage of discovery is not in seeking new landscapes, but in developing new eyes. Have you got Matt's Eyes?